the OptiCity's Driver Assist app alerts drivers to incidents ahead of them on their route. The app is a prototype designed only for the purpose of the OptiCity's trial. It uses data from the Road Events API service, which was specified as a part of OptiCity's Work Package 2. Creating the AN app has enabled us to provide feedback on this API's draft specification. The app has also provided information about how a driver would respond to the travel information provided. The settings screen of the app enables drivers to set some options. For example, the distance ahead of an incident that drivers would need to know about it. The level of map zoom can also be selected, although it is questionable whether a map would be the best way to communicate with the driver in the real world. The settings also allow drivers to choose whether to hear about incidents only or Roadworks 2 and also to only hear about severe incidents. Roadworks 885 meters ahead. Severe when a road event is detected ahead of the vehicle, an audio alert is provided to the driver to enable them to decide whether to remain on existing course or to change route. The app shows Roadworks approaching and this is them on the ground. Further on in the journey, we can see that queues are starting to build up. These are being automatically detected by the decision support tool built as part of OptiCity's Work Package 3. As we approach an area of major roadworks, you can see in the app that these are categorised as severe, and this is denoted by a red triangle. To support the incident detection, existing Wi-Fi routers have been upgraded to detect MAC addresses from mobile phones in vehicles in order to determine journey times. These are processed by the decision support tool in the same way as information from automatic number plate recognition cameras. The Road Events Service seamlessly combines local road data from the Birmingham area and national motorway data from Highways England to provide a coherent service to the driver. The map now shows the driver having left the motorway network and driving on the local road network. It's important to aggregate data from as many services as possible as traffic incidents can occur anywhere at any time. 